Hey guys, hey it's Linda Gavin, we're reporting for Cadillac Creek, which is down here, not over here anymore. Um, this week we're going to be covering my NFC and AFC championship picks, which, hold up, was anybody else surprised? Holy crap, the Jets, like, completely annihilated the Pats. Like, no question about it. Annihilated. I've never seen Tom Brady so confused in my entire life, and I loved every second of it. It was fantastic. But we've got uh, no surprises with Seattle getting pummeled. Green Bay. Holy cow. Aaron Rodgers, who everybody keeps calling A-Rod, and it's kind of confusing. Because my first thought is, one, I hate the Yankees. Two, baseball's on. And three is like, oh... I'm sorry, but you cannot call him the same name as another athlete in another sport. So I concluded that we're going to call him AR, because he's got an arm like an AR rifle. Right? Yeah. Any hoodles. Moving on, my picks. When I went to bed last night, I had originally selected two teams. When I woke up this morning, I completely changed my mind. Let's go ahead and start over at the AFC Championship game. Okay, we have two super strong defensive teams playing each other with great running games. And the only thing that's different between the two of them is the fact that one's got Sanchez and the other one's got Roethlisberger. When I went to bed last night, I was like, I'm going for the Jets. And then when I woke up this morning, I was like, I'm not going for the Jets. I'm going to go ahead and take Pittsburgh in this squeaker. I think in three points, if even, may even be like a two-point conversion difference in this one. I'm not sure. The reason why I was originally going with the Jets would be because when I watched their game versus the Pats, there were no mistakes. They were off. When you watch the game versus the Ravens and the Steelers, there were holes. And after sleeping on it and going, man, I don't even know, it could go either way, I concluded veteran team is going to trump a young team anytime. Big Ben is a game maker. All he needs is one. Oh, he can stay up while they're trying to stack him. All he needs is one big play to change the entire game, which is why I'm going with Steelers three points over the Jets. In the NFC Championship, where I went to bed picking one team and woke up going, no, I'm not going there. We have the Green Bay Packers duking it out at Soldier Field versus the Chicago Bears. The Bears who nobody thought, not even me, that they would even win the cha their division, much less be this close to the Super Bowl this year. They played crummy in the beginning. That first win they had wasn't even a win. It was just a mess. But then the pack just fell apart towards the middle of the season, and it was like, what's going on over there in Green Bay? Screw all the Brett Favre drama over in Minnesota, don't you know? It was all about what was going on in Green Bay. I was surprised they even made wild card after a while. So, in this duke em out of the Midwest, I went to bed thinking, AR is just going to annihilate them. They're going to blow up, and it's going to be insane, and they're going to beat them by 14 because Chicago's defense is good, but they're not that good. And then I woke up this morning and said, what the hell are you talking about? Chicago defense is beyond good. Although they don't rank the same way as Green Bay does on the stats, the fact of the matter is they are a better team, and they are a veteran team, and their defense led by Brian Urlacher is going to trump them, plus Julius Peppers and Hester, and suddenly, don't know what happened, but Cutler has decided to come to life. Couldn't even remember his name last week. This week, I was kind of surprised. The guy even was like, maybe I'll pass it, maybe I'll pass it. Nah, I'll run it. Exciting. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and take the Chicago Bears seven-point lead. So we got to bust out the Cubs hat, because it's lucky, and I'm a huge Cubs fan. And we're going to go ahead and get our Urlacher jersey out, and we're going the Bears for seven points over Green Bay. With that said, I will tell you to come see me on my Twitter account at Cadillac underscore Creek, or come visit me on LiveJournal at Cadillac dash Creek. This has been Brenda Hansen, and I'll see you next week for the Super Bowl.